Good evening, Jeremiah. Good evening, Goldie. Good evening, Nancy. And a good evening it's going to be. Where's Madam Francine? Upstairs, counting your money. All right, I'll buy you a drink. I've got a feeling this is going to be my lucky night. A four-of-a-kind feeling in my bones. You know, after I win this place for Madame Francine, you're going to be working for me. Mm, that won't be work, Yancy. <laughs> Two champagne cocktails, friend barkeeper. The newest glasses and the oldest wine. I'm looking for Yancy Derringer. That figure, he's over by the bar, but this is a gentleman's club. You can't come in here. Derringer? Oh, no! Oh. Friend of yours? So help me, Francie. And you tell me you never saw her before in your life. I never saw her before in my life. Take her in the back parlor. you. And if you ever break into my place again and start shooting it up, I'll hit you harder. Look here, whoever you are. I'm Romilly Vale. Francie, I swear to you, I've never seen her before in my life. What happened? He came to our plantation, along with that Indian, Pahu. He came to us posing as a dear friend of my dead brother's. It was quite easy for Mr. Derringer to capture my fancy. Until he built my father up a fortune. He was going to invest it for us. Double it. And then he was going to marry me. It was really very beautiful. And then he just disappeared. Well, I swore I'd find you. And I'd kill you. Something's wrong. Very wrong. Your memory may be good, but your eyesight's bad. Yancey may not be anybody's angel, but he's not the devil you're talking about. Hallelujah. Well, I mean, the man who said he was Yancey looked like you, but... Are you trying to tell us that someone posing as Yancey and Pahu impersonators are running around loose? Yes. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. Oh, I don't know what to say. I'm really all mixed up. I don't know what to think. Well, you've thought enough about it. Let me think about it for a while. I'm as anxious to find your friends as you are. Yes. Two Yancey Derringers on the streets of New Orleans is more than the poor old city could stand. Oh, but there are two, I swear it. You say you first met the two impostors way up river. Yes, and then I tracked them to Vicksburg, and then to Natchez, and then finally New Orleans. You tracked them, Miss Vale? No, I mean Captain Amos Fry. Captain? Secret Service man. I think she'd better get back to her hotel, Yancy. I leaned on it when I hit her. Where are you staying? At the King Louis. I'll take you there, Miss Vale, and tomorrow we'll pick up the trail of the man with my face. Yes, you can get into enough trouble without any help from strangers. Sorry about your head. Oh, that's my own fault. You've really been very kind. Thank you. I'll send a draft in the morning for the damages. Good night. Good night. Be right back. Uh-huh. I said I'll be right back. Uh-huh. I'll get you a carriage. Oh, thank you. I already have one right around the corner. Miss Vale, the 
King Louis driver. gentlemen. Don't turn around. Get away from him. Don't try anything, Derringer. You're under arrest for armed robbery and murder. Just a moment, friend. Who are you? Captain Amos Fry. It's been a long chase, Derringer, but an easy one. Your traveling with this Indian makes you a bizarre figure, but one that's easy to identify. In this case, it'll hang you. Captain Fry, we have a witness can prove that we didn't rob this bank or shoot that man. There's nobody out front. Well, it doesn't matter. She happens to be somebody you know, Romilly Vale, staying at the King Louis. I never heard of her. She says you're a Secret Service agent, aren't you? I am. You don't know Miss Vale? I do not. I'm an agent for the Secretary of the Treasury, and this is a national bank. Are you going to come quietly or are you going to come dead? It really doesn't make any difference to me. Your supper's ready. I'll take a hitch while you're eating. Good evening, friend Jailer. Yes, I'm awful sorry about locking the door. Oh, that's all right. But you're in the big soup. Why, this Captain Fry is out to skin you alive. I've got to get word out of here. Oh, that's not a chance. You're being held incommunicado. Nothing gets out and nothing gets in. Here. Oh, thanks. If they caught me helping you, why, they'd hang me with you. <laughs> That'd be stretching things a little bit too far. Here. This fire-eating Secret Service agent, you know, he's got you braced. Yes, the harm robbery. Murder, eyewitnesses, why, he's even talking kangaroo court. If I was you, I'd bust right out of here this minute. If we run now, that would really prove we we're guilty. Yancey, isn't it better to be a live outlaw than a dead mistake? Somebody's coming. Tahoe. You want me to open the cell? No, and get out of here. Yes, sir. Evening, Captain Fry. Maybe your last, aren't you? Where are you tell? October 19th, you were in Vicksburg. Yes. Went up there on my boat to Sultana, on business. Must have been pretty good business. National Bank robbed at $20,000. One man killed, two wounded. Three witnesses identified a man in a white suit and a Pawnee Indian. Well, how did they know it was a Pawnee like Pahu? Pawnee Picks. October 23rd, Natchez. You were there. And the National Bank was robbed. Small hall, though, Derringer. Only $10,000, as you remember. Two men killed, two witnesses. You and the Indian. I tracked you here, and by a stroke of luck, caught you red-handed myself. Conclusive? Very conclusive, if I were a jury. There'll be no jury. This is a military district. There'll be a courts martial tomorrow and a hanging the day after. Captain Fry, what about my witness? What about Romilly Vale? No such person registered at the King Louis Hotel, if she existed at all. Guard, I want him watched all the time. And keep that jailer out of here. I don't trust them together. Madam Francie. Jody, I told you if I caught you picking pockets near this club, I'd turn you over to the Indian. Now get away from here. But it's about Yancey. He's in trouble. Front door. Goldie, take this game, please. Excuse me, gentlemen. Cards, gentlemen. Uh, it's all right, Jeremiah. I hope. I, I, I gotta see you alone. Follow me. Oh, I'm, I'm awfully sorry. Please, please excuse me. I. Give it to me, Jody. 
What, ma'am? The wallet you just lifted from the gentleman. Wallet? What wallet? Oh, that wallet. You mustn't lose your money without betting, Mr. Quigley. House rule. Stand in the center of the room, don't touch anything, and talk. Oh, now, Madam Francine, you, you don't think I try to lift anything of yours? Yes. Now, what about Yancey? Well, he's in the calaboose. What'd he do this time? Hit a policeman, shoot down a chandelier? No, or... he, he robbed the National Bank and killed a watchman in cold blood. What? Uh, only he really didn't do it. it. It was two other fellas. The impersonators. Well, how'd you know? Never mind that. Do you know where they went? Not me. They, they went barreling out of the back of the bank just as the Yancey and the Indian were coming in the front. They were dead ringers and dead shots, and, and I wasn't going to get anywhere near them. Oh, Jody, you're a witness. We've got to get to the administrator immediately. No, the, the administrator's out of town, Madam Francine. And, well, who's going to believe me? You're right. The word of a Bourbon Street pickpocket wouldn't be worth much. Well, gee, that, that's not a very nice thing to say to, to the fellows trying to help. Why are you trying to help? Yancey's my friend. He always asks about my mother. Mm, sweet. Is there a reward? Well, there's got to be, so I followed the girl. What girl? The one Yancey walked to her carriage. She was a witness, see? Her word is good. So when she drove off, I followed her to the King Louis. Her name is Romilly Vale. You go check her while I change. I'll meet you there. All right, Madam Francine. And, Jody, uh, don't bump into any of my customers on the way out. Yes, ma'am. On second thought... She's got to be. No Romilly Vale registered here. Then she used another name. Which is what? It's going to take time to find her. And Yancey don't have time. We've got to get him out of there. Well, that's why they put bars in the calaboose. To make it sort of difficult. Yancey's gotten out before. Get in. Driver. Which cell? The usual one. Keep an eye peeled for me. All right, but make it quick, huh? I, I don't like being so close to Jane. Let me do it, or we'll all end up in there. Let's get out of here. Hmm? Oh, I know. I know, soldier. You're thinking to yourself, he's not going anywhere. Well, you're wrong. Give me your right. Get the keys. Open the door, but be quiet. Inside. Sit down. I'm sorry, soldier, but you're just brave enough to yell. when I have a good hand. See what he wants. Yancey, how in Hades... Sorry, friend Jeeler, I hate to do this. 
I've got no choice. Well, don't apologize yet. I told you myself your only chance was busting out of here. Only how did you do it? I haven't got time to talk now. Is there any more in the outside hall? No, no, the hall is clear. You can go down the back stairs. Oh, better still, you better go out the window. Thanks. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not going off and leave me safe and sound with these two heroes, not Cole? Why, they'll swear I was in cahoots with you. They'll string me up. Yancey, you got to belt me one. I couldn't do that. But you've got to, Yancey. We're friends, aren't we? You wouldn't dare run out and leave me conscious. Thank you, Yancey. <laughs> Nobody hurt. Just bruised. Lock the door. Where was she? At the King Louis, using a different name. Well, I wanted to spare my family name the disgrace in the event I found the men I was after. Good evening, Jody. I found your witness. Good evening again, Miss Vale. I don't understand. Why am I a witness? What's happened? Well, why was your carriage waiting for you next door to the National Bank tonight? Because it was just around the corner from Madame Francine's, and I thought I could run to it and get away quickly after I'd... After you had made you a killing? Yes. Well, it might be the truth. It might be just coincidence. Life is filled with such things. On the other hand, it might be a frame-up, too. It smells to me like your witness is no witness at all, Yancy. Witness to what? Well, after I put you in the carriage and you drove away this evening, did you see or hear anything? Yes, some gunfire. Well, if that gunfire was inside of the bank, could I have done it? Oh, no, that would have been impossible. You wouldn't have had enough time. It happened just as I was leaving. Yes, Miss Vale. And the other Yancey and the other Pahu just happened to be robbing the National Bank at that time. And this Yancey and this Pahu just happened to get arrested for it. Oh, well, in that case, Mr. Derringer, I'd be more than happy to testify on your behalf. Thank you. Well, the word of somebody who didn't see nothing don't mean nothing. Oh, but she says that she knows Captain Amos Fry. Yes, I do. Well, he says he's never met you, never heard of you before in his life. Well, then he's lying. Search the upstairs. Just a moment, sir. What seems to be the trouble? Oh, are you Madame Francine? No, I'm just a poor working girl. And you're not a member of this club. Well, I'm searching for an escaped prisoner, Yancey Derringer. Where is uh, Madame Francine? Around and about. Jody. Madam Francie, there's a man here. Says he's looking for Yancey. Shall I call the police? Don't bother. I am the police. You Madam Francine? Yes. Captain Amos Fry, Secret Service, and I'm looking for a friend of yours, Yancey Derringer and his Indian. Got a search warrant? I don't need any. I'm afraid you do. You're trespassing, Captain. Get out and come back when you have one legally issued by John Coulter, the administrator of the city. I hope you're not harboring an escaped prisoner. I hope you leave before I get too nervous. Show him the way out, Goldie. I know the way out. Cover all its known haunts, the Sazerac, the Blackjack Club, and the Sultana's Dock, huh? Well, that was close. That's not Captain Fry. I've never even seen that man before. Are you sure? Yes, positive. Jody, follow him. Meet me at John Colton's box at the opera. All right. The opera? Are you out of your mind? There's no performance this week. It's empty. Last place in the world they think they'll look. I don't like it. It's dangerous. The frame-up is too perfect. I haven't any other choice. And you stay with Francine. She will. Yancy. Yes, Judy. Uh, he, he went to a house on Royal Street, number 22. He, he was in a hurry. The room number is 2D. Let's go.
You two. It's incredible. But it's true. I'm Yancey Derringer. This is Papu Katiwa, the real one. The resemblance. It's amazing. Your captain name is Fry. The real one. You know, you're lucky to be alive. So are you. Come on. We haven't time to waste. Where are they? They've gone back to the bank for another try. It's simple. They didn't get any money when the both of you surprised them the first time. Now that you've broken jail, it's a perfect time for them to do it right. Take every cent, blame it on the two of you. There must be guards at the bank. Halligan, he's the one imitating me. He has the power to pull every guard off of the spot. Have you got a pistol? Be my guest. Well, good night, Yancey. When the shooting starts, I, I get to be a devoted coward. I, I'll see you around. That is, if you're still around. My regards to your mother, Jody. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Goldie, but taken. I mean by soldiers. Oh, that mistake has been rectified. But thanks for the thought. Francie in the back room? Back parlor. Hello, Francie. Yancy. Captain Fry. Excuse me. Hello, Miss Vale. Oh, it's so good to see you. The Captain Fry, Madam Francie. How do you do? How do you do? Friend and the gentleman who expects to spend some time with us in New Orleans and whom I heartily recommend for membership in your club. Welcome, Captain. Thank you. They wouldn't believe me when I said you helped me track them. That's all over now, Miss Vale. Yes, they're no longer two of a kind. And I want to thank you for your help. And if I can be of any service to you during your stay in New Orleans, I certainly want to. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Derringer, but I'm afraid I have to be on that first train in the morning. May I escort you to your hotel? Oh, yes, thank you. And thank you all. I'm certainly glad it's all over. Good night. Good, Good night, Madam Francie. Good night, night Captain. Mr. Derringer. Captain Fry. If I can be of any service to you during your stay in New Orleans, if it'll be grateful to anybody, why not start closer to home? Hello, home. <laughs> 